things are looking dire. We must brace ourselves for the trick's next attack. What about the guardian fairies from neighboring planets? Have any of them responded to your request for aid? Only one of them replied. They sent a text that said, Fuck that noise. Sucks to be you. Try not to die, old binch. They, uh, they misspelled bitch. And Mistress Farragonda, there's a temporal portal opening right over there. Thank goodness you're all right, Headmistress Griffin. I decided it wasn't worth saving your life personally, because looking at you makes me think I'm in the presence of Maleficent's BDSM knockoff. Long time no see, Farragonda. I understand you sent Bloom to Cloud Tower to steal back the dragon flame. What a genius idea, sending the one student who always messes everything everything up. It's only the fate of the magic dimension on the line, after all. Good to see you so well-rested, Griffin. While you and your students were having a nice little vacation in Casa de Dungeon, some of us were dealing with the end of civilization as we know it. Vacation? I'll have you know I just personally fought off the tricks Three against one. You're lucky I don't report you to the school board for sending your students on what was, at best, a botched suicide mission. And you're lucky I don't report you for running a school that literally produced the domestic terrorists currently threatening our very lives right now. I saved your ass in the war against the ancestral witches. And I saved your ass from almost marrying Valtor. Whore! I hate you! I hate you more. I'll fucking kill you! Good to see you, you psychotic bitch. A pleasure as always, you dusty old hag. What the hell took you guys so long? Got lost somewhere around the fifth dimension. We had to wait for our molecules to reassemble. Hey guys, I just wanted to say- We instantly forgive you! Just wait until season 8 when forgiving Riven will be very out of character for us. Hey, we do not speak about season 8. Where's Bloom and Sky? Wasn't your whole reason for going to Cloud Tower to protect them? Oh, shit, I knew we forgot something. Looks like we're out of gas. We'll have to walk from here. But I thought magic rendered most plot points meaningless in this universe. Don't these things run on magic or something? Nope. Gas. Magic gas. We'll have to find a magic gas station. Ugh, fine. Can we hurry? I really need to find somewhere to cry. Ugh, this is hopeless. I'm such a loser. There it is. Knew you couldn't go more than a couple of minutes without making this all about yourself. If only I had my powers, then I could do something to help. Bloom, maybe you need to come to terms with the fact that you're your own unique person, even without your powers. You may be a princess of a lost kingdom, but you're also a down-to-earth, brave, and loyal friend. It's actually an inspiring message for young viewers that you don't need to be the chosen one or have unrealistic, over-the-top powers to be the best version of yourself. You should be happy that nothing, not even the forces of evil, can stop you from being a great person. Nah, I just want the cool powers back. Well, I tried. Let's get going. It's probably only a one or two episode walk to Magic City from here. Ugh. According to Bloom, the Tricks told her they were descended from the three ancestral witches. Now that would have made for an interesting parent-teacher conference. And since we haven't established what Enchantix is, all we have is base transformation fairies to fight the strongest witches of all time. It will be like leading lambs to the slaughter. Something I think you are well versed in, Farragonda. What are you implying? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that me who sent several underage students on a doomed mission to Cloud Tower in the last episode with zero repercussions? Yeah! No, I think that was you, wasn't it, Farragonda? Can you lay off? If I had known you were going to be such a cunt about the whole thing, I would have reconsidered. They're attacking! Come on, men! Let's make our battle cry! I'm a little teapot! Short sure and stout! Anime attack! Anime slice! You guys, I finally did something useful! Anime blades! Anime kick! 
Our anime techniques aren't working. Impossible! We've got anime attack macros with the lines and everything. They don't stand a chance! <laughs> anime breaking the laws of physics! I had it with these mother flying stingrays in my mother airspace! Oh no! My laser pointer pen I got from Staples! Enemy cowering in fear! Hey, hands off my pre-assigned romantic interest. Hey! That's my battery-powered girlfriend! It's not as weird as it sounds! Timmy, you saved my life today. My animosity towards you has decreased by 2.5%. That is literally the most romantic thing that anyone has ever said to me. Glinda the Good Witch's bubble away! Let's nope out of here and find a Shonies! Did you hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard a voice just now. Well, I keep telling you to lay off tones of eldritch lore. Not exactly light reading. Usually I just ignore the voices in my head and carry on killing while they plead with me to stop. But it sounds serious this time. It's said to go that way. Have you considered that maybe these voices are causing your madness rather than being a symptom of it? Listen, I think I'm gonna follow that voice. It seems like the right thing to do. Okay, you know what? Go ahead. Follow the voices, Bloom. I've been trying to keep you alive for at least two episodes despite your best efforts. Go! If something happens to you, I'm not coming after you. Go and be insane in the woods. See if I care! Fine, I will. And for the record, as long as I don't converse with the voices in my head, it doesn't count as insanity. All this sitting around and waiting is driving me insane. And the weather dissonance is not helping. Brandon, I'm scared. It's okay, Stella. This is a safe space. Thank you. I could use all the emotional support I can get right now. No, I mean, literally. It's a safe space. There are protective spells on school property. The witches can't get in here. Oh. Stella, I wanted to tell you I'm sorry for the whole lying about being a prince thing. You know, after my father cut off my trust fund, I was hoping that marrying a prince would solve all of my money problems, but I've realized that the most important thing about being a princess isn't riches or fame or being a living metaphor for white supremacy by reinforcing racist ideas about white power and being born into authority. It's having a hot boyfriend. And I want that hot boyfriend to be you. Really? But what about your trust fund? It's okay. I'm still an Insta-influencer. I can profit off of being physically attractive and selling my private data. Late-stage capitalism sucks, but hmm, at least my bills are paid. Hey, Stella, still working on that horror complex? Aw, I ship you guys. Do you guys think you could stop being jealous of me for five minutes? I'm busy forgiving Brandon for committing identity fraud and deceiving me. Didn't you and Bloom hatch a whole plan in episode two to impersonate Princess Veranda of Callisto? Are you implying that I'm some kind of hypocrite? I'm not implying anything. I was inferring it. Riven, Timmy, what is figuratively up? Farragonda wants to talk to us. All right, horse sticks, listen up. We're going to do that convergence thing again and push the army back. Um, headmistress, we're just a bunch of teenagers. Shouldn't we, like, call in the military or something? No, that's stupid. You're stupid. Ten points from Gryffindor. We understand that this plan is dangerous and that many of you have misgivings, especially when considering that many of you very likely will not survive the coming battle. However, headmistress Ferragonda and I have discussed this at length, and we we have decided that we are ready to accept that heavy burden. Uh... All right, choppity chop with your probable death now, children. Everyone, get ready and don't cross the streams. Uh... Ah! <laughs> what happened? Some sort of bullshit. Best not to think too hard about anything that's going on, or you'll realize how poorly written it all is. Looks like attacking Althea exactly the same way head-on for the 42nd time in a row also failed. I have a good feeling about the 43rd attempt. I don't care if it creates rising tension! It's taking too long for Althea to fall! Sisters, it's time we take matters into our own hands. What are you suggesting? We run covert night ops, surveil their position, cut off their supplies to starve them out, and then attack when they're weak and least expect it. No, you idiot. What I'm suggesting is that we attack head 
on. Uh-huh. But this time, we'll be riding these really cool giant throne things. That's it. Well, it's better than your dumb as dog shit idea. Stop bullying Stormy. She was born in a wet cardboard box all alone. Well, I didn't drink six gallons of snake entrails for our plan to fail like this. Ladies, this time we will personally see to Althea's fall. This situation calls for some sweet feet pics. Gotta maintain that perfect score on wiki feet. Daphne. Daphne, where are you? The great Oz has spoken. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. I don't know why Dion's going out with the high school boy. They're like dogs. You have to clean them and feed them, and they're just like these nervous creatures that jump and slobber all over you. Ew! Get off of me! <laughs> <laughs>